Right, I've just seen the backpacker. He's make, making his way. He's like a love reference point for me for tomorrow, actually, when I'm going to do that hike tomorrow. I'm going to do it in reverse. Um, just seen him go around the, the hill there. I do want to do that, but you can't do it all in one go. So I'm just doing a little bit of the path. We're on some National Trust estate now. Holnicott or something, I can't remember exactly how to pronounce it. Yeah, I'll be skirting past. There's a car park there for people. Um, it's not a non-through road, so this only you can only go up there to park. I had um, quite a long chat for about a quarter of an hour with a local walker. Um, so I was asking him about the rugged coastal pathway. He said, that's all right to do over there, that bit. He said, but once you get to the chapel, Burgundy Chapel, he said, that is, that is difficult. He said, that's the hands and knees climbing up that. So he said, um, you know, a lot of people do bypass that bit because it is... It's dangerous as well because it's very steep. Um, so, but he said there's nothing to see at the chapel. It is just ruins. But he did say when you do that rugged pathway, you can. Um, the army were based out here in the war, and he said there's still the remains of old tanks and all sorts of things, and all these dips and dives, ducking dig outs and stuff are quite usually from the army have done it when they've been here and apparently they do um, veterans do come out here with vehicles and they put on shows and all sorts of things um, it's a private thing you know it's a, it's a society of people that come out and um, can move their vehicles about here I'm glad those cows are in that field. So that bloke's gone round the edge. He said it is a really lovely walk. Now I do feel bad. I actually feel now I should have done it. But he, he agreed with me though that to get your bearings it probably is good to do this. To do this walk. So I'm, I'm literally fine. What I find when you do follow a coastal path, though, sometimes you do miss some of the um, the main things. Although I'm saying that, but I mean, look at the view there. Look at that. Yeah. So when you do that walk, you've got to go down, then up, and then it's a, a nice climb round. It's not up like it's not up like that. So you, you curve down and then come background like that so that's nice um, that's going to be what I call bits and pieces day tomorrow but he said it's worth going to the when I get along there he said it is worth just diverting off to go to the Soulworthy Beacon um, this is still um, this is still the hill Minehead Hill, this is, apparently. North Hill. It ends when we get just up here. But this, apparently, this is all North Hill. And it was used by the army. And, and it was defended in the war. Watching people coming up. The enemy Germans and that. Keeping an eye on the channel there, see? You can see that, why they'd have um, army out here, can't you? Look at the views they've got. Right, I just want to take a... It looks to me like you could join up. If you say you change your mind now, and you thought, no, I think I'll go down there. Although I don't think so. It doesn't look like it's a right of way. It's probably more for the farmer to get in. But yeah, look at that. 
So you go down and then you do this climb up. And I just seen the backpacker. I'm using him as a reference. Um, not homing right in on him, just using him as a reference. Uh, the bloke always said, also said further up I might see deer as well. There are two old ladies. I don't know if they're doing that track. Don't know if they're doing it. Right, over and out. Farmer's coming. Right, a little bit more videoing. Off that walk, that seems to be the, the hardest bit, that dip there. There's a track joining here. I think that probably comes from the car park. <coughs> Could be. I'm hoping I'm going to be... I was hoping I'd be higher up over there. So the truth. But there's been no signs. Do you know what I mean? Whichever way you come, I'd probably end up here anyway. But I was hoping to be up there more. <clears throat> I don't really want to be this low. You can't see nothing. <sighs> be time to take the jumper off in a minute, George. She you know I mean? Oh. Oh. I didn't even forget my own bloody name. Yeah, it's quite warm. Loads of cows. <sighs> right, over and out again. Right, small video. Camera two, I'm charging the other one up. Um, if this one goes off quickly, it means there's something not charging right. And, um, <sighs> which is very annoying. I always seem to have this problem now and again. Anyway, I'm on this track. There's still the coastal path. I'm, I've just jumped, bumped into another gentleman who said, Selworthy Beacon's only about a mile away. So I am on the right track. Um, the backpacker, my reference guide for when I do this walk myself, I've just seen him. He's fit though. He's got He's got all his equipment, but he's a fast walker. He's already turned over there. He's a fast walker. So we're sort of leaving Black Hill behind. I would have thought back there myself, but... It's a lovely day. There's no rush. There's no, absolutely no rush whatsoever. So I just thought I'd do a little bit of video. This is um, the new camera. And it's going to be very messy. What I'm going to have to do when I get home is sort the photos out into their own folders because this, because I haven't got the same facility when I'm away. I could unload them onto the laptop, but who's to say it would save them and keep them? They might disappear when I get back on there. Um, so basically, I'm just trying to fill up the memory cards. I've got a feeling this, this one only used about 1.6 gigabytes yesterday. It holds 32 gigabytes. So in theory, and I've still got four other 
16 gigabyte cards if necessary. But anyway, these are things that occupy your mind when you're going. I mean, somebody else might say, oh, Sheila, why don't you do reference points when you're going along? Like you could, you know, because I mean, I can map read. I know how to use a compass and everything. I was taught all that when I was in the army cadets. <sighs> Triangulation and all that. Yes, I've done all that. Um, no, I don't. Uh, I've got the, a massive big map in my bag. Um, yeah, I, I could have plotted it more. Sometimes I like to leave a little bit to spontaneity, though, rather than be too rigid. It is nice to have a bit of spontaneity. There's somebody else coming along now. Somebody else coming along. There's a lot of single there's a lot of men with um walk out walking their dogs. Lovely views though, isn't it? Over and out. <sighs> 